everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your upper body blast workout. So in this workout, we'll be using one set of dumbbells to work all through your upper body. So arms, chest, back, a little bit of core, and get your heart rate up as well. So all you need for this workout is a set of dumbbells. I'll be using my five pound dumbbells today and a mat. You might also notice that I'm currently about four and a half months pregnant. This workout is totally safe to do if you are pregnant, as long as you've been cleared by a doctor for exercise and you're following the modifications that I provide. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so we're gonna start with just a quick little warm up. We'll start from the standing position, just marching it out, rolling through the shoulders, kind of get the blood flowing throughout the whole body, and then we will warm up just with some dynamic movements. Take it to the front, you get more of a stretch at the end. As always, if you need more of a warm up, Please get it on your own. Let's take little reaches across. So turn in your knees and your hips. So you're really reaching long, stretch long through the fingertips, through the back, through the arms. And then let's take it over our heads. Again, big reach, stretching through the sides, really lengthening those arms. And then we're gonna take it just a little flat back roll down. So flat, roll it down, round it up couple more times, just like that. One more, and then we're gonna hold it underneath and just roll those shoulders to the front. That's getting warming up through those back muscles in our spine. And then walk your feet in, round it up. And let's just do some big arm swings across. So big stretching out to the side, crossing over and under. And then same thing, up and down. So all you need, again, is one set of dumbbells. I'm going a little bit lighter with fives. That is a couple reasons. One, because I'm trying to keep my heart rate in a good, moderate level because of my pregnancy. But also I'm recovering from a little bit of a shoulder injury, just a little tendonitis. So I certainly encourage you, if you have heavier dumbbells and you're used to using them, go heavier or if you have a couple sets, start with your heavy and then if it feels like too much, you can always drop down. Remember, ladies, if there are women doing this, that you don't get big bulky muscles from lifting heavy weights. It's very hard for us to do. So please go heavier if you can really challenge yourself. That's how we really get that lean definition, those tight toned arms that we want. Okay, so we're gonna start. Go ahead and grab your dumbbells, bend your knees to get them. And we're gonna start with just a basic bicep curl. So we're gonna start with an exercise, and then we'll go on to the next one, and then the next one. Then we'll take a quick little break where we just tap it out, keep moving to keep our heart pumping, and then we're gonna put them all together. So we'll have a few different sets like this where we build and then work up to three. So starting here, just very basic biceps, arms by your side, curl it up, take it down. And I know it's a little boring with biceps because there aren't that many exercises, different variations of the curls, chin-ups and pull-ups, but not as, not as many variations as there are for some other exercises, but still a very functional exercise that we need. Thinking about this a lot with pregnancy because I know from holding my two-year-old and holding a baby that we really need those muscles. We do it a lot and that muscle endurance. Let's go one more right here. And then we're gonna take it from here out and in. Elbows in. So if it starts to feel like too much, like this is aggravating my tendonitis a little bit, you can always go one at a time. This goes for all of our moves. You can go one at a time or you can drop it a little lighter if you need to. Keep breathing. Out and in. Two more. Okay, so then from here, take it up, squeeze those elbows in. Up, squeeze those elbows in. Notice my posture. I'm keeping the shoulder blades pulled back. I'm keeping my knees a little bit soft. Going out, squeeze in. Imagine that you're pulling in, pulling those shoulder blades in. So it's a press up, squeezing. You should be feeling that by now. All through those arms. Now we're adding the back. One more right here. Ooh, yep, tap it out. 
So let the arms come down by the side, roll through the shoulders. You get a little 20 seconds of just step touching. So you decide if you want a little extra cardio, you can make a little hop step. Totally up to you or just keep it here. Your heart is probably pumping from lifting the weights. Anyway, that's what we love about weight training. It can be cardiovascular as well. All right, team, let's put them all together. So we're going up, we're going out. We're going up and out. Squeeze in, in and down. Up, out, up and out. Right? Lots of different parts. Really take your time. Think about them all, all the way through. Curl, squeeze out, press up and out, squeeze in, in and down. And think about those motions as you're coming in. So squeeze, squeeze, lengthen. Contract, out, press. Excellent job, team. Bring them up. Yes. Good. Let's get one more after this, and then we will drop those dumbbells. Or set them down lightly. So set them out, out of your way. Reach those thumbs to the back. Big stretch while you go back to that step touch. So just so we get a little break from holding the dumbbells and we give our upper body a little break since this whole workout is upper body, we'll take a few little cardio intervals. So again, you can just keep it here for that step touch. Or if you want, take it to that little hop side to side. We're gonna go about 30 more seconds again. If you need more of a break, you can keep a low impact, just little steps. If you want, take it to that little jump side to side. 15 seconds to go. Keep breathing. Go. And then we're gonna pick those dumbbells back up and we'll have another set of three. Three moves we do separately and then we put them all together. Okay, so tap it out. Go ahead and grab those dumbbells, bend your knees to get them. The first one's gonna be a bent over row. So you probably know this. Roll those shoulders back, knees are soft. So from here, it almost feels like you're sticking your butt out, you're arching your back, but then hinge at the hips from here, knees soft, we're gonna bring it up to here. Here's what we don't, is rounding in the back. We don't want rounding in the back or straight legs. So really squeeze from here. Take it down, eyes up, dumbbells out in front, pull up and squeeze. Elbows come right, squeezing in those shoulder blades. Abs are pulled in tight, so focus on that curl, core. Knees are soft, breathe, and pull those elbows in, pull those shoulder blades together. So you're really keeping it low. If we're too high with this, we're gonna end up using our biceps, which we just worked, they're tired. So keep it low, right here. Breathe. About five seconds. And then we're gonna hold them at the top here. So we're gonna do kickbacks for triceps. Extend through the elbows. So again, it's not here. We don't wanna swing them up and use biceps. We wanna push up towards the ceiling. So watch, I'm trying to get a straight line through my arms. Instead of here in front, pushing to the back, right? I know you're feeling a little tension in your lower back. It shouldn't be painful. If it's painful, take a break. But if you're feeling a little bit of work there, that's on purpose. We're supporting from here. Hold it up from here. Last one, squeeze in and out. To show you from here, squeeze and out. It's a little bit of a small range of motion. I know it's burning. We won't go very long. Squeeze. Triceps, shoulders, and back. We'll go four, three, two, and one. Woo! Roll it up, tab it out. So just by holding that position, and that was a long hold, again, you're probably feeling all through your back working. So we contracted through that upper back, but, but just by having the support in our back and our core, we're getting everything in that trunk area of your body working. So again, step touch. Whew, this time we're gonna do heels in front. Yep, roll them through. And then we're gonna put all of that together. So it will be our row, our kickback for triceps, our squeeze in for triceps and shoulders, okay? 
We won't go super long. We're just gonna make it all burn through the back of the muscles. So our first set was more front loaded, bicep shoulders. Second is more back and tries everything on the back. Okay, so turn it to the side. Roll those shoulders back. Soft bend in the knees, eyes up. Take it here, here we go. Row, kick back, squeeze in, out, out, and down. Up, back, squeeze in, out, bend, and down. There we go. Lots of different parts, so think about them all, all the way through. And again, if it feels like too much, take it one at a time. Up, back, squeeze, in and down, up, back, push to the center. You might throw your balance a little bit. Up, push, squeeze, breathe. We got about 15 seconds. I know we're feeling it. Squeeze in the back muscles, push in the tries. Squeeze in and out, shoulders and triceps. Almost there, breathe. Last one, and relax. Roll it all the way up. Set your dumbbells to the side. Whoo! Shake those out. Cross them in front, heels in front. Breathe, and again, you can take it here. If you want a little more of a jump to give you a little extra cardio, that's fine. You can also use this time to get a quick sip of water. If you need it, I'm gonna use it. Up to you. Well, you know, I would always encourage more water, right? Breathe. So we got about 20 seconds of this, low impact or high. One more standing combo, one combo on the mat, and that's all we're gonna do. Really tighten, strengthen, tone, sculpt, all of that upper body. Okay, so go ahead and bend your knees one last time. Grab your dumbbells. We're gonna start in the center, just with a little press. So elbows are in, I want them nice and tight. Press up and down. Breathe. Abs are pulled in. I've got one foot back, just to support for balance. If you're fine standing here, that's okay too but it helps me, especially with my growing belly from pregnancy, to support my back a little. Keep breathing. Let's go one more, hold them at the top, elbows in behind the head for tries. Looks like this. Trying to get all the way down, all the way up. And breathe. So we're down making sure that my elbow is staying close to my head. If they wanna go out here, that's a different exercise that we're gonna do next. Breathe. Watch your hair, <laughs> my elbows are getting it. Good posture. And then let's hold it down, out with the elbows, squeeze it in. I know, a little extra burn, but you can do it. We won't do it very long. Pull that core in, out. And see how my dumbbells are still low. They're not up here doing this motion. We're dropping them low. Breathe. Four, three, two, one. Oh man, right? I'm feeling it just with fives. So I hope you guys who might be using eights, tens, twelves, fifteens, who knows? You're probably feeling it more. Let's tap behind this time. Little taps. And we're gonna put them all together. Okay, remember this is our last standing set before we go down to the mat. Breathe. Okay, are you ready? Press, triceps, out and in with the elbows. Start them in here, one foot back. Up, behind the head, out, in, up, and down. Up, down. So all different parts. Press, tries, out and in, up, down. Out, in. And now we're feeling the shoulders and the chest. Again, keeping our elbows in tight, except on that move. Out, up, down, out. Whoo, 
ya. Feeling it, right? Here we go. Just a few more. All the way through that motion. Last two. Out and in. Up and down. Last one. Breathe. All right. Drop those dumbbells down. Whew. Tap behind one more time. It's our last little cardio interval. Swing those arms to the back so you shake them out. We're tapping here. Breathe. Quick little set on the mat. I'm gonna be on hands and knees to start. I'm gonna give you a couple of options, especially if you were doing this and you're pregnant like me. We're not gonna go into a full push-up plank type position. We will modify. So tap, tap. You can go, if you need more cardio, you can make it that speed skater. A little less, keep it here. Shaking up the arms, giving our hands a break from the dumbbells before we take it down to the mat. Three, two, and one. Okay, so down onto the mat. I'm gonna come on hands and knees first. So if you're pregnant, especially if you're in your second or third trimester, we're gonna stay on all fours. So some moves might be a little bit weird from there, not what you're used to, but that just prevents that pushing down in your second and third trimester. You don't want to do anything in that push-up or plank position. So you don't want to increase our chances of diastasis recti, which is ab separation. If you are not pregnant, you can take it to your knees here or all the way up onto your hands. Here's what we're going for. That alternating row, that renegade row. So one at a time, again, you can be all the way up here on your knees from here or you're pregnant like me or you need this modification, just take it here. So my core is in tight no matter which variation I'm doing and I'm pulling that elbow right up by my side. So we're working again through the back, back and shoulders, breathe, and just keep it going. Four, three, two, Good, so keep them down where you are, and we're just gonna do a little push-up. So if you're doing this version, the push-up is gonna look a little weird, but I want you just to bend out in the elbows, push up through your chest. Other variations, you're from here, on those hands and knees, or all the way up on your toes. You pick what's best for you, and it is totally fine if you're on your hands for that row, you need to drop to your knees for the push-up different muscles, different exercise, completely fine to switch in between the two. So breathe, got about 10 seconds. And again, I know this push-up is a little funny from the hands and knees if you're here with me, but you still are able to push through the chest, push through the shoulders. Last three, two, one, stretch it back, breathe. So on this combo, we're only doing two different exercises. So let's give our hands a break. Our little interval in between is gonna be to work the lower back for dogs. So reach here and here. If you're feeling really ambitious and you wanna take it up to here, you can try that. Or just stay here, it's a little more of a stretch. Reach and back, reach and back. Let's go four, three, two, one, stretch it back. Okay, last thing of the day, T. So, let's do that push up first, actually, and then row and row. Whatever version on your knees, all fours, regular knee push up, or all the way up on your hands, find your balance first, and we'll take it push up row and row or you can be here push up and again it's going to be a smaller range of motion on that push up because you've got your hands on the dumbbells that's okay and it's completely fine maybe do your push up from here then come up into the plank for your row drop back down all of that will work you pick your level this is our last push breathe if you're on hands and knees like me Again, really focus on the upper body doing the work. So bend all the way down. Breathe. 
You've got 15 seconds. This is your last push for upper body. And then you're stretching it out. So make it good. And stretch it back big, reach forward. Nice work, you guys. This is why I have so many full body workouts on my channel, is that it is hard to isolate like this, right? Come to a seated position. It's a lot of the same set of muscles, and we got about 20 minutes of it to get over, roll through, which is tough to do, but good for your body when you can do it. It's fun to have some days that we work different body parts, other days that we just get cardio, some days that we get full body. Take that same arm, take it up, press it back gently. Get that elbow up as high as you can and then reach down with those fingertips. And then take it across, drop the shoulder, roll it through, breathe. Rolling through the wrist just to stretch those wrists and forearm out. After all that work, bring it up and take it back. Again, reaching down with the fingertips. And your hand can be in front or over the head. Obviously, my right one is tighter. And then let's take it to the front, chin to your chest. Open up, really reach back with the thumbs. You open up the chest, grab behind, lift. And bring it all the way up. One big deep breath in and out. And that was your upper body blast workout. Great job, everybody.